With me now is Vassal Moroshnichenko. He's, of course, Ukraine's ambassador to Australia. Ambassador, thanks for your time. You've just got back from Ukraine. Let's start off, first of all, how's that counter-offensive going right now? Look, uh, counter-offensive has been now ongoing for, for several weeks, basically, starting with some probing operations and shaping operations in different parts of the front line. Uh, now it's now intensified, so we're now seeing fierce battles in different parts of that, of, those, of that front line. It's still too early to make any assessment. Uh, we understand Ukraine has made some progress in some parts. But look, if we can make a parallel it's if, 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 and compare that to a, box, a boxing match, uh, we, of course, can knock out our enemy in round three, but Ukrainian troops are ready to go for the entire 12 rounds. And the Bushmasters are playing a role? They are playing a very important role. There was a report today by Steve Cannon from the front lines. He's basically interviewing people who are operating Bushmasters. And we hear a witness account of one of the soldiers who is a driver of one of those uh, telling his stories of how his team has survived being hit by, uh, you know, by, by different missiles and, and hitting the mines and everything and saving lives, basically. So these Bushmasters are doing really good in Ukraine. The, the Deputy Prime Minister met with your colleague, the Ukrainian Defence Minister in Singapore at the Shangri-La Dialogue. The minister suggested another... Australian support package would come in July. Do you expect the Prime Minister to provide the details at NATO when he visits there in July? That's that's our hope, that there will be more clarity and we hope there will be another package coming from Australia. Ukrainians are extremely grateful for everything that's been provided so far. And look, if we could even get one little round of 155 millimeter um, ammunition for that package, we'll be still extremely thankful to Australia. But of course, we, we, we hope that Perhaps that there could be more Bushmasters. So could Hawkeyes? Be, some Hawkeyes as well. And by the way, in terms of Hawkeyes, when we talk about them, we talk about how they could be integrated with the NASM systems, which could be used as air defense systems. Because, look, their daily attacks on Ukraine are huge. Just as we speak, the Russians have actually hit a residential building in Kriveri, killing three people, um, another 25 injured. There are more people in the rubble. We are trying to uncover them. When I was in Kyiv just last week, uh, it's you can't really sleep, sleep properly. There are massive attacks, missile and drone attacks every day. And air defense systems, uh, we need them. We need them badly. Well, there's some talk as well that there's progress being made towards Australia providing or a, a supply that has old FA-18s. Australian FA-18s, is, is that your understanding? And how soon would Ukraine, Ukraine is expect to get those? Yeah, Ukraine currently is 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 running a campaign and negotiating the, uh, the F-16s uh, from, from different allies and partners. And we, of course, looking into uh, training of our pilots uh, who can navigate those uh, uh, that aircraft. We are also studying uh, the, the opportunity and, and actually the condition of the, of, the, of the planes which are here in Australia. It's still too early to speak about them. Uh, we, we, we just need to assess it, how, uh, what, what condition they're in, could they be applied, and how they could be used. So it's still, it's still out there, you know, being studied. The destruction of that dam, a massive dam in Ukraine, caused a, a major humanitarian crisis. How is the area recovering? And I guess for, for years to come, it's going to be a setback in terms of grain produce and harvesting. Look, uh, the damage is huge. I mean, seeing the footage from that place is devastating because there are so many villages which now have drowned. And of course, all, many people have suffered and, and got killed. And we don't even know the statistics yet, but this is definitely one of the largest man-made disasters Ukraine has seen since Chernobyl. It could be even compared to basically uh, to the use of a weapon of mass destruction. And in this context, by the way, we hope that Australia will be able to join the peace plan and join the track on the ECOS side, which is the track on the environmental uh, damages caused by Russian invasion of Ukraine, so that we can actually work together uh, to, to help uh, solve those problems and the implications and the aftermath of, that, of those disasters. Yeah. Ukrainian Ambassador Vassil Moroshnichenko, welcome back. It's, it's great to see you. I appreciate your time as always. Thanks.